Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is how to make a floating compass. Um, what you need for this experiment is a magnet, some thread, a steel blunt tip needle, bowl and water, cork, or leaf. So first we have to determine the polarity of the magnets, right? So every magnet has a north and south pole. There are no magnets with just one pole. And the simplest way to figure this out is if you had an electronic pole finder, which you probably don't. So we can use a little bit of science to find the north pole of your magnets. The magnet's north pole is attracted to the Earth's north pole, technically. The Earth is labeled backwards. The magnetic pole near the, the north pole is actually the magnetic south pole of the magnet, if that makes sense. So the way to do this is to hang your magnets from a long thread uh, that is freely rotating. And once it stops wobbling, the north pole should be pointed facing north. If you don't know which way is north, the best way to determine this is to know that the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. So you'll find north is directly up in the middle. Once I determined the sun rises in the east and then settles in the west, I was able to mark my magnets with the N and S. There are two ways to magnetize your needles. The first way is here is to take the tip of your needle, the point, and touch it against the S, the south part of the magnet. Then take the I and touch it on the north side right there. And now your needle is magnetized and can be used for a compass. So now you need a floating device for your needle so it's able to point to the north once it's magnetized. So the second way to magnetize um, your needle is to take the whole set of magnets, since you know which is north and which is south, and put the eye of it on the north and the point towards the south, which is technically, remember, the earth is labeled backwards, so we're pointing it the opposite way. Once you do that, now it's, your needle is magnetic. Look, so you're able to pick up a paper clip or something else because you've just made your needle uh, magnetic. So uh, now that I've got my needle magnetized, you can use any kind of floating device. This time I'm using a leaf uh, from the tree in the backyard. And you can see it's turning around and it's paint pointing directly to the north. So just to check it out here, I'll use my iPhone's uh, compass. And you can see that it's actually facing directly north, which is pretty cool. So that's how you make a compass with a needle. So this time we're going to use a cork to be able to make our compass. You pretty much could use any floating device to make a compass. You could also use uh, other devices uh, besides a needle to make the compass. You could use a paper clip, a hairpin. So go ahead and try those and let me know in the comments below how those worked out. And what we did today, we were able to figure out the, 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 the poles of a magnet, the North Pole and the South Pole. We were able to make a needle into a magnet, which was pretty cool. And of course, how to make a magnet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. And click that little bell on top if you want to be reminded when I post my next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that sounds good. But this one right here, that's the bomb. You want to that try was a pretty one. cool experiment. But you should really try this one right here in the bottom corner. That's pretty cool. Sounds interesting. But this one right here, that's the one you want to watch. That's cool. But this one right up here, it is fire. That's awesome.